This is the best gun tight defense in Madden 23, and it comes to us out of the nickel 3-3 formation. I'm going to show you a really cool little coverage defense that you can utilize out of the uh, nickel 3-3 to really stonewall uh, the gun type meta, whether it be bench, whether it be slot post, PA cross, some of the best plays in this formation. I'm going to talk about how to counter them in this video. Now, if you want to get my entire uh, gun tight or uh, I'm sorry, my Nickel 3-3 defensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. That's going to be linked down in the description below. For just $10, you'll be able to get access to all of my Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to check all that stuff out, again, that is all linked down in the description below. All right, so I got my abilities all right, and let's get on the field and talk about this. And like I said, this comes out of the 46 playbook, and we're going to turn our zone coverage on match. That's really the only adjustment you're going to need to do. If you want to put put a base line on your coverage, you can. I don't think you need to, um, and so I'm not going to teach you to. So uh, what we're going to do, nickel 3-3, three, three, and the play that we're going to call is we're going to come out and cover four drop. Now we're going to make some adjustments to this play to make it much better um, against the gun type meta. I'm going to show you one of the vulnerabilities of this coverage. I'm going to show you why it's so good against tight, and then we're going to talk a little bit about you know again some of the some of the adjustments that you can make. So um, cover four drop. What is the number one vulnerability in this play? Well, I'm going to, I'm glad you asked. I'm going to show you the number one vulnerability to cover four drop is the fact that to the wide side of the field they could bomb it. So how, how would they bomb it to the wide side of the field? Well, if they have a play like drive corner, I did a video on this a couple days ago, all they have to do is call it. They don't, they don't have to make any adjustments whatsoever. And what you'll see is that this corner route can get kind of dumb out the cover four. Now that corner route can dumb out the cover four in zone, and it can also dumb out the cover four in man. Okay, but let me show you drive corner to the short side of the field. So if I was to run drive corner to the short side of the field, you're going to notice a difference. You're going to see that if I run this drive corner play to the short side of the field, he still kind of got over the top. But if I have a deep out zone knockout right there, like that's going to be a really hard throw. Okay. And I'll show it to you one more time. This time, this time, let's, um, let's just leave the coverage like it is. Okay. Um, so here's drive corner. You see here this outside quarter. This time he plays it properly, plays it exactly the way we want him to play it. Okay. So as you can see, drive corner is a really good bomb to the wide side, but it's not that good of a bomb uh, to the short side. Now, if you press your cover four, a little bit of a different story, um, a little bit of a different story this year. Press coverage, uh, he still plays it. Like right there, he's there. Like, yeah, he caught that, but again, that's a knockout. You, you When you run this defense, you want to have deep out zone knockout on everybody, okay, uh, if you can all right, now let's talk about bench for just a second. What are the what are the vulnerabilities of bench? Well, really, the the best the best thing that bench does is beat man. So if we're not running man, bench is all of a sudden not as good. But the best thing bench does is that right there. You can throw that against man, high ball up and out. So what is the coverage that we're going to use for this? The coverage we're going to use for this is the cover four drop. And what I like to do with this defense is we are going to simply shade our coverage underneath and then we're going to take our safeties and we're going to put a out a middle third on the wide side of the field and an outside third on the wide side of the field so you see here this is what the defense looks like now the reason this works is because zones play differently depending on the hash mark that they are on zones play differently depending on the hash mark that they are on to the wide side of the field, cover three is the best zone defense in the game. Okay, let me show you why. Let's go back to that drive corner play. So we're going to go back to that drive corner play. And what you're going to notice here is when I put that outside third out there, all of a sudden this play is double teamed to the sideline every single time. He still caught it because because it's Madden 23. But you see the coverage is there. Okay. Now another play that I haven't touched on yet is PA, uh, PA cross. This is one of the best plays in the game, in my opinion, because it attacks cover four so well. Right up the middle of the field, literally right up the middle of the field, this can attack cover four and could potentially be a touchdown. Now, I need to freeform that, get it out there a little bit more. I'll show it to you one more time. I've talked about this. I've talked about this play as well on the channel. Okay. Um, and if you want to get, I've got a whole ebook on gun tight. Everything's in the Patreon. But you see here, like right there. Now, again, if he's 6'6, six, six, he catches that ball. 
Um, but for whatever reason, Madden hates short players this year. So I would actually think, like, you need to get height on your field. I'm kind of, like, debating on, like, forget about these free abilities and let's go get one AP short in with Darren Waller because he catches that every single time. Okay, and that's the animation you get a lot of times. So, again, another thing that can beat cover four, but that is to the wide side of the field. If I flip this play, if I flip this play, oftentimes you are going to notice you are going to notice that that fade is going to be wide open over the top. Okay? So let me show it to you again. So PA cross. And, and like I said, we're now running this to the short side of the field. So if you watch Calvin, yes, I can throw it inside, but that left side, that left side uh, quarter is playing it a lot better. Okay? So a simple adjustment that fixes this bomb is we're going to play an outside third to the right and a middle third to that right side safety. So you see here, it looks like this. And then we can shade our coverage however we want underneath. And now what you'll see is this play that was once just crucifying us is now double teamed and probably intercepted. So this coverage fixes a lot of the problems that gun type presents. The last problem that gun type presents is short side flood concepts. So this is where cover three is actually not that good. So if I'm in cover three here, I want you to watch this. If I run, um, if I run bench and I just put the short side outside receiver on a streak, you're going to notice that I can throw that route all day long. I can throw that all day long. Okay. Now that, if I tried to do that to the wide side, this is where I'm talking about zones play differently depending on the hash. You'll see here, cover three to the wide side, that is no longer an option. Okay, he's still caught up because it's bad in 23, but that's probably a knockout if I have deep out zone knockout. Which leads me to my last kind of point about this cover four. We want to run cover four to the short side, and we want to run cover three to the wide side. So here's cover four. So watch how cover four handles this flood concept. You're going to see here, he's actually going to be in a lot closer of a, of a, of a position. Now, if you want... If, they're, if they are hitting you with something like this, just base a line. Just base a line. Okay. When you base a line this defense, now this outside quarter is kind of got a lot more leverage. And so typically he's going to be right there. Now, again, that's a knockout if you have a knockout ability. If you don't, um, the other thing you can do uh, is baseline press it. Just baseline press this defense and do something like roll the thirds and now you'll see that's more accurate and if that's deep out zone knockout that's a knockout okay so that's kind of how you take away a lot of what gun tie can do and then the last play i want to go over is uh slot post so we've covered a lot of the gun type meta in this in this example so again baseline press shade underneath this is kind of the coverage you're left with and then now you got to understand where your hook curl defender is. So in this example, my hook curl defender is to the left side of the screen. Uh, I actually think it makes more sense to have a hook curl defender to the right side of the screen. So what you can do is you can actually do something like this, if you take a look, and then you can take this safety on the right side and put him in a hook curl. If you wanted to do something kind of glitchy, you could do something like this. This is not terrible coverage because you're going to help out in the seam. That hook girl is going to help out in the seam as well. So if they just try to seam you, you have the third on the right. You have some help is what I'm getting at. But anyways, if you take a look at this slot post play, now I'm going to use this slant and then I'm going to go right there. That hook girl is going to help with the slant. By that time, they're probably going to be getting shedded. Okay, by that time, they're probably going to be getting shedded. Now you could also... This is the beauty of 3-3. You can mix in the blitz out of this. So let's say we want to send this linebacker off of the edge, okay? But we still want to have some decent coverage integrity on the right side. What I like to do is drop the defensive end on the right into the vert hook. He's going to play the slant. So kind of back to that same core philosophy of we need to have a hook curl defender, in my opinion, to the wide side of the field. Okay, so now they run... Uh -huh. <clears throat> they run slant post 
and your lurk is right in this area you see the blitz kind of gives them a little bit of feel of pressure and then you are using that post over the top so this defense really does a great job against gun tight in the meta this is a little bit of a tutorial on some of the key things you got to think about when you're defending gun tight but in my opinion my bet the best bang for your buck right now against gun tight in my opinion is cover four drop and with the right adjustments behind it uh, now if you want to learn the rest of this cover four defense the nickel three three defense my i got an entire ebook teaching this defensive ebook and teaching this idea and this principle going in depth on it of running a cover four zone to the short side of the field and a cover three zone to the wide side of the field and adjusting out of that defense to make your defense play significantly better. So thank you for watching the video. If you want to check out the Patreon, head down to the description below and click the link down below.